Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Scourge League 3.16. In this episode, we got stone golems. What? Oh my god, Ethan, here we go. Wait, wait, wrong, wrong POB I'm on while I was doing the intro. Holy shit, I got com I got so confused. I'm like, did I mess this whole thing up? No, okay. Uh, here, I was I was looking at something on my carry-on golem, that's what happened. So, uh, here we have my stone golem elementalist. I'm leaving that in, by the way. It's pretty funny. Um, so here we have a stone golem elementalist. Each stone golem is three and a half million damage, seventy-four thousand life, and uh, we got seventeen and a half million DPS. No awakened gems. Wait, what? <laughs> Cold iron points. No, no wands. Um, how is this real? And then, and then I'll show you guys. Look, look. Your specters have 88 elemental res without purity of uh, fire and ice and yeah so if you guys want to be as good as me with stone golems uh, you should play this build. So now uh, I'll help you guys get into this build by uh, going through all of the information you need to play this yourself. So yeah we have 5 stone golems with 3.5 million damage each uh, and then we have the chaos golems we have the physical damage reduction really high physical damage reduction and we also have um 944 regen that's really good too and uh, i told i showed you the elemental reses of our specters and animate guardian are 88 um so that's really good <laughs> and uh yeah this stone golems are looking really strong in 3.16 they might be the meta i don't know what do you guys think are they good it's time to go through the skills for the stone golem build. So let's start off with the six link stone golems. Uh, we have the 21, 20 stone golem, and we have five of them because of the elementalist, one chaos, one chaos golem. And then um, we are brutality, 2020, melee fizz damage, 2020, minion damage, 2020, multi strike, 2020, impale, 2020. That's my six link in the body armor. Spectre, spectre, life top. Uh, so 21, zero spectre. Uh, life tap, 2020. Uh, this I think can be one. It doesn't matter, and it doesn't need the quality. Uh, anime guardian 210. Elemental army. So this is cool because I didn't take all of the elemental res from the skill tree. So then we give the extra elemental res to the specter and the anime guardian. I used to do this in my elementalist builds because when you're elementalist, your um, ascendancy makes your golems immune to elemental damage. So I need to show this now. They have 100% elemental resistance against... Yeah, so they just don't take elemental damage. And then... So why do you need it? Uh, it's for this. Spectres and Anime Guardian. You put the elemental army and then... What the hell? Um, and then you have to get extra Chaos Res in my build because... Uh, for the minions, for the for the Anime Guardian, if you build the Anime Guardian, you have to get extra Chaos Res. Keep that in mind. Because I didn't get all of the Chaos Res on the skill tree. It, it, I min-max this. Um, I didn't want all of it. Um, and I think the minions will live, but I want the Animate Guardian to have Chaos Res, so I want to mention it. When you build the Animate Guardian for this one specifically, it's a really high level, but still get the Chaos Res for it specifically. You don't want it to take triple Chaos damage. Um, it's okay if your Spectre dies. Limit testing, right guys? But not with the Animate Guardian. Do not limit test an Animate Guardian. <laughs> uh, so get her bots Unbound Ailments in the gloves. Uh, with Dread Banner uh, Generosity in the glove. So I did Impale on the uh, Stone Golem, and I did uh, the reason I had Running Claws in this cluster, like the uh, Carry On Golem. And then I did Dread Banner, and we got 100% Impale on the Stone Golems. And I found that I gained damage against Cyrus in the new calculations. <clears throat> so. And we attack three attacks per second, so it looks pretty good for getting five stacks, especially that each minion stacks impale on the target, and it's the same impale. So when I have five stone golems, each one attacking one time will stack all five impales. Um, and so in one set, well, sorry, it, in a third of a second, I have already stacked five impales, yeah. So that's pretty good. And then pride. So only if you have 100%, which is basically requiring the cluster jewel. I have one cluster jewel with running claws. Yeah. 
that that's the the special tip there. Um, then I did Pride in the Ring, Foul Haste, level seven, so it doesn't have a high dex requirement. It only requires 96 dex, and then it makes a big boost. I'll show you. Um, this adds about 400,000 when you click the button. This is insane. Uh, definitely recommend it. It doesn't cost any mana either. Uh, yeah, and then. Uh, for my Arcanist brand Flesh Offering Desecrate setup. And then we have Chaos Golem, Feeding Frenzy Mame in the other weapon. Uh, so in Elementalist, you get six golems. With your Anima Stone, you get two because of the Primordial Jewels. And then you get another two from the Elementalist, and you get one from the Golem Commander. So it gets you to six golems. So I'm using five Stone Golems. And one Chaos Golem. And the reason for the Chaos Golem is the physical damage reduction. And also, you can get um, on these harmonies. When you do Stone Golems, you need to lower the cooldown of the slam on the Stone Golems. And so I, I, I stack a lot of these. And uh, I try to get the... I'll, I'll explain this as well. But um, you get the increased Golem damage for each type of Golem. So basically, instead of this giving 20% because you have a Stone Golem, I get 40% because I have a Stone and a Chaos. Um, and it's not like counting the five stone, it's only counting one because it's a type. So it's the two types. Stone is a type, chaos is a type, carry on is a type, but not how many you have of the type. Do you know what I mean? So I only count stone and chaos in this build. So I have 40% increased golem damage. And then the second line, summoned golems. So it's the physical summoned, summoned, like the one that is summoned, summoned golems have increased a uh, 45% increased cooldown recovery rate. This is the one you want 45 at. Um, the reason why you want the 45 cooldown recovery is to lower the cooldown. And um, I can explain this right now. Um, while we're while we're at this, I might as well explain the jewels. In this build, I'm using six harmonies, I think. Five. I put five. Um, and so how it works is we have three attacks per second, but we can multi-strike. So our attack repeats. So the slam on the stone golem repeats two times. And so three attacks. And so if we attack three three point zero four times per second, um, we're trying to see how fast we finish our three attacks to do the next slam. In 0.98 seconds, we're done slamming. 1.25 seconds, the cooldown is done. So for 0.27 seconds, well, I can show you, minus 1.25. For this amount of time, we don't have our slam up. So they just walk around for a quarter of a second. Um, or roll or default attack which could also multi-strike and so we we like to get them to perma slam and so it's kind of unrealistic kind of, it's not efficient to make them perma slam at this point in the game um, until you have awakened multi so the idea around awakened multi is they would repeat another time you get four attacks instead of three attacks and i'll show you uh four divided by 3.04 1.31 seconds before they finish slamming and the cooldown is 1.25 so just by getting awakened multi getting the extra repeat on the slam it balances the cooldown so, um, and you can also get the alternate quality version of the uh, stone golem to affect the cooldown recovery rate you could go more harmonies but my point is five i in my opinion is good enough you could even go with four five is great um you don't need more than this that was my point and awaken multi is the final like you're gonna be perfect where the build uh the stone golems are perma sliming and i just wanted to fully explain that so five harmonies one primordial might and then one anima stone and it's uh and then the awaken multi is the fix for, for perma slime um and then back to add chaos golems so chaos golem with the feeding frenzy and mim this is our source of these buffs I didn't put it on here because I wanted to put the Elemental Army uh, for the Ray Spectre and the Animate Guardian. I showed their reses. 88, dude. That's so funny. Did I show that part? Wait. I showed the golems that... I showed... I had to have, right? I showed the Elemental... Yeah, I did. I did. Because I... Yeah. So 88 reses on those was insane. And then I put the buffs over here. And the Chaos Golem should be immune to Elemental reses. And uh, technically, when you get... If you upgrade the wands, uh, the cold air points to wands, and you get the global levels, so like plus one spell skill gems and plus one minion skill gems, and you're getting the levels on the chaos golem. When he gets a 22, uh, you get 
an extra physical damage reduction, so technically an extra level on him is nice, but it doesn't do anything. You need two, so you'd have to have an extra source, so an extra level on the uh, item, for example. You can't do it with the weapon, but if it was in another slot uh, or another piece of gear, maybe a corruption could get the plus one, uh, but not not in this case. Uh, next. Or if the ami was a plus intelligence, plus one intelligence, but it isn't, it's uh, we're using the strength physical for the stone golems in this build because they're red and physical. So then convocation in the weapon and uh, boot, we got flame dash. And then the rest of the boot is a cast and damage taken level one with a immortal call level three. And uh, then I put a flesh and stone 20, 20. And so the manner I already fixed it with the same thing I did for the carry on golems. I added the extra, where did I put it? It doesn't matter. I have an extra thing that gives me the mana reserve uh, so that this is right. And I didn't put the meme on the flesh and stone because I don't want it to uh, increase the mana reserve and it should be fine off the chaos golem. And then it also has more range because it is off feeding frenzy as well. Um, and they don't, it doesn't even need feeding frenzy because um, it's already aggressive because of the primordial might, but this, this is really good. And then vulnerability belt. This was just to show the source of vulnerability from the animate guardian that we have, because we'll have the vulnerability curse on hit glove, and we'll also have the um, uh, nearby enemies take 9% increased physical damage from the animate guardian. So, yeah. Let's go through the gear I chose. So again, I didn't want to do insane expensive ones. I just wanted to go off early league start cold iron points. That should be uh, affordable even if they're extre uh, extremely popular because they drop so frequently. So cold iron points for the plus six physical spell skill gem levels. It's awesome. Uh, helmet, stone golem enchant, 40% increased damage. It's sick. And then the 20% from a bone hum. That's f amazing for just a bone hum. Definitely want bone hum. And uh, again, minion life and out from an elder helmet for the specters and the animate guardian to save one gem space and then life. And this is crafted with uh, pristine fossils. The nearby enemy takes 9% increased physical damage just is to show that the animate guardian is doing that. Uh, then you can craft the lightning and chaos uh, and the plus one socketed gems is uh, an option that you could try to go for. It, you don't need it. It's just a bonus to show that you could hit that or to a plus two, plus three, whatever. It, it does, uh, it, it's helpful for the Spectre and the Animate Guardian. Um, you could even go for trying to get the Spectre to 25 with the Wands, like I've mentioned before, where getting the Chaos Golem to 22 is good for the 5% physical damage reduction. You can also take the Spectre to 25 for the extra, extra Spectre, which is through the Wands. And the Wands also help because it gives levels to the Spectres, which you don't get through the Cold Air Points. We have many physical levels, but we don't have um, Spectre levels, yeah. So your specters are the risky thing in this build, but you could resummon them. That's the nice thing where Anime Guardian is level 30. Huge. Okay, uh, Astral Plate. I did the plus two chest plate again, and I have a video on how to craft this. Uh, it's You can literally YouTube search plus two body armor, the game report one, and it works. It's uh, me getting level 100 in a uh, five-way legion and then showing the craft. Okay, uh, glove is just life reses, uh, boot, life reses, move speed, ammy, plus one fizz, plus one strength, and then ravenous horde. Uh, so it's the same as the ra uh, carry on golem build, but it's physical, I mean uh, strength instead of intelligence. And then I did life reses ring with an endurance charge. Endurance charge is uh, from June unveil. All three of these have endurance charge, life reses. Darkness and Throne with Ghastly Jewels. Large Cluster with the Renewal, Rotten Claws, Vicious Bite. And then I told you five Primordial Harmonies. Uh, Anima Stone and a Primordial Might. These are my Golem Jewels. Uh, I stacked Primordial Harmonies because of the cooldown. And uh, I I definitely want it around here. I could take... I, I would kind of want it lower. But it, it just is not easy to fit in more um where it, yeah it's not really worth it and the upgrades would be just awaken multi will do it easy i also thought about i'll throw it out here just because i thought about it and because it's on my mind i guess i'll mention it technically <clears throat> of these gems non-awakened uh the melee fizz is the weakest 
And so you could take out melee fizz and run pulverize. And then pulverize is just a little bit weaker, right? And then the pulverize is the increased area and it has less attack speed. Um, and so when you redo the calculation, it's not like it, it they don't have to perma slam, right? It's, it, it's just this concept that people be, get obsessed with, but it gets closer, right? Because now instead uh, of going negative like 20, 0.29, it's 0 0.20, save some point milliseconds, but it's not like that because it has less attack speed, less attack speed than this. This one has 10%. This one was 15. That's the whole concept. Uh, but you don't you don't have to do that. It's not necessary. Their default attack is fine too, um, and their roll is cool. And then the mobility, and it can actually help for mapping to not have them perma sliming sometimes, so that they can not get stuck. Uh, nice. Let's go through what I decided on the tree. So I'll go through the masteries first. I got the overwhelm, twenty percent physical damage reduction that doesn't count on the pob. So um, I'll show you something. Actually, we have Cyrus. I lose damage on Cyrus, so technically if I had this counting, we wouldn't lose as much damage. We would gain a lot of damage, basically. This is huge. Um, probably 20% more, potentially, right? Up Upwards of 20% more damage. Uh, 50 life. Then I got the 20% increase effective offering. 8% uh, all max res, which is how we got the minions to 88% max res. We have the 8% from here and the 5% from the elemental army. Um, and then I ran the reduced, f uh, increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. And, uh, this time I didn't reduce the effect of cr crits because I I wanted the skill points for damage. I wanted to see how much we could push in this. Um, and then what's different is I didn't take all of the grave intentions. I took just enough res to get the specters to 88 res. Uh, I'll show you if you don't take this 10 elemental res, then the specter is... Wait, what? Oh, it's, I still have it on, that's why. <laughs> I was like, how? Okay, there we go. <laughs> 82 uh, without it. So I take this little bit, it overcaps them, and then they go to 88, and it's because they can over... They have the extra max res with um, the elemental army and the new mastery they made. It's really cool. And so it's going to be really fun to see how good they feel with 88 res. Actually insane. Um... This is really cool rebuilding something I've I've done before. Stone golems look look really strong with this, and then um, yeah, we have the twenty the twenty percent overwhelm phase is a huge buff, and then we have the room for the awakened gems, and we have um, awakened gem here, awakened gem here. Uh, we have upgrades to the build across the board, fat upgrades, and then the awakened multi makes it so that you don't have as big of a cooldown thing. So you might even be able to cut one harmony eventually. Um, this, yeah, the stone golems are looking really strong still. Holy moly. Nice. I'll give you guys a couple extra things I figured out. Uh, I figured out this three point jewel socket. Uh, I told you the res for the max res. Uh, I took this extra minion damage here. Uh, this three points was better minion damage than these three points for this attack speed. And I told you that attack speed is kind of bad because we don't want them to attack faster because we want them to perma slam. And so this is anti synergy where we want them just to have more damage. Um, and so I did this. And then another thing was a funny, funny thing is if you, there's three ways to path to the top side of the tree from where I am. So there's these two points. So it's the same pathing as these two points. And then there's also these two points. I think these two points work too, actually. Um, there's also, uh, if, if we had spiritual command, then it's these two points. Like before, if you have this extra life node, which I also realized if you have this spiritual command and you try to take this path that I mentioned, you have to have this life wheel, which makes you take two 5% life wheels, two life uh, two five percent life nodes, and they knew that. So that's part of it. It's really funny. Um, it's kind of like taking the this before which one was it this one yeah it's the same bloodless you can take this from the bottom side but then when you try to go through to get to the soul of steel you have to go through two life nodes and they made them six percent now they actually buffed it so this area is huge holy shit that's insane um nice man but yeah those are the changes i made and we got all the region we have the leech uh we have 
We have all the stuff I want. It's really sick. Nice. I did take the leech, right? I think I took it off. I'm gonna add it back. I'm gonna lose one point and put it on leech. For the survivability. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna add an outro that does some uh, cleaning up, some tidying up of, of some stuff that I left out in the video. Uh, the Ascendancy. I go Liege of the Primordial, Elemancer, Bastion of the Elements, and then potentially these uh, could increase effective cold and lightning ailments, but basically there's nothing else to take, so yeah, we're trolling, and um, I'm really happy with the build, honestly, overall, and uh, going through it and actually making this video for you guys and, uh, and preparing it all. It, it looks solid, man. Stone Golems were good last league. Stone Golems got even better this league. Uh, they are uh, give a real, real. They have real competition for carry hunt golems. Honestly, it's crazy. Uh, so again, you guys can definitely go go Stone Golems. They're solid. Comes with massive regen, physical damage reduction, uh, the extra elemental shield. Uh, we have an elemental shield that can help for the volatile flame bloods. So that's really nice for blight and. It, yeah, and then you have five stone golems. It's really nice. And then with awakened multi, you'll have perma sliming. So, yeah, build is smooth all around. I'll give a final thing. Uh, I didn't really go over it that much, but impale. Uh, I said I said this already, but I'll, go, I'll say it again. Uh, we it, we stack all the minions stack impale on the same target, so we get five stacks of impale with within a third of a second. Um, and then we do gain damage on Cyrus with, uh, with five stacks of Impale. So, that's what's going on. Uh, Stone Golem meta, here we go. What's up next, boys? Let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, hey, let's hit 100 likes. You guys are the goddamn best. Thank you so much. And, uh, now I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon, my YouTube members, and that guy who just followed... Whenever I switch the screens, it updates my alert, and it shows who followed. Every time somebody's been followed. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch, dude. You're the goddamn best. Thank you so much for all the support on Patreon of the YouTube members. I appreciate it. You guys are the goddamn best. And uh, thank you to anyone who joins the Patreon of the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!